All right, well, joining us now is Richard Goldberg, a senior advisor at the Foundation for Defense of Democracy. So, Racy won the elections amid a very historically low voter turnout and without any competition, it seems. How legitimate is this election, in your opinion? Well, there are no truly legitimate Iranian elections. This has always been a selection. Uh, but this time around, because so many Iranians said we're not playing the game anymore and stayed home in protest, we're actually able to strip the veneer of any sort of official election away and see that this is simply the Supreme Leader selection process. And he has selected the mass murderer uh, that you just heard about in your programming, uh, somebody who is a modern day Torquemada, responsible for thousands of deaths, uh, somebody who uh, put people to uh, prison and death after the 2009 uh, Green Movement as well, someone who was chief of judiciary has continued. Uh, to oversee torture and murder and persecution of so many. And so the United States and the community of nations really has a choice in front of it. Uh, will we continue down a path of lifting sanctions and going back to a nuclear deal, not just to enrich the IRGC, but to betray our most core values of human rights mm -hmm. and human dignity? Now, with a hardliner like him ruling the country, what does this mean for the average Iranian? Well, unfortunately, the, the lives of the Iranian people have been terrible for 40 years uh, plus. And so it doesn't mean that anything's going to change much. Uh, unfortunately, this is sort of a rubber stamp uh, from the Supreme Leader that human rights abuses are acceptable. Human rights abuses will stay and perhaps uh, even get worse. Uh, somebody who has literally been the grand inquisitor of the Iranian people now as president uh, gets to expand uh, his persecution system uh, throughout the country uh, as president. So uh, it's a terrible day for the Iranian people, but it's been a terrible past four plus decades for the Iranian people. Now, I'd like to turn to Israel, of course. You know, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah has already congratulated Raisi. We're seeing uh, the prime minister of Israel, Bennett, warning about his election. What does this mean for Israel and how worried should Israel be? Well, Israel should be worried because the first instincts of the United States after these election results has been to remain committed to going back into the nuclear deal. And so I think any nation that worries, uh, rightly so, that lifting sanctions on Iran, uh, even after this sort of reaffirmation of the Islamic Revolution and of just the most basic evil nature of the regime, uh, to decide to flood that regime with billions of dollars and give it pathways to nuclear weapons, freedom to test ballistic missiles, sponsor terrorism, et cetera. Uh, the fact that, that this election hasn't stirred something in the United States that we hear this morning from U.S. officials, no, we're still dedicated to going back into the deal, that should be disturbing. And I, and I think that that means you will see likely in the coming weeks the United States actually go back into the deal, lift sanctions, and we will have to deal with that new reality. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you so much for joining us and giving us, you know, your, your two cents on the election of this new Iranian leader. We're going to have to obviously wait and see what this means, not only for Israel, but also the region as a whole. And with that, we are moving on to the United States. So what is the buzz? Let's take a look at today's most trending stories.